So, um, you know how last week Psyduck wasn't feeling so well and so he wasn't as lucky as normal? I just realized that Psyduck all this time has probably just been lonely, so I managed to pick him up a friend from a car boot sale and he even talks! Okay, that's not talking, but you'll see what I mean. See? Gotta catch all. That doesn't sound like Psyduck, but today we are joined by Psyduck's mini little friend, so there we are. But today's also really cool because Guardians Rising came out today! Or at least um, this is being uploaded on Sunday, but it came out on Friday anyway. But look, we got three brand new packs from the Turtonator Blister, so I'm gonna fold that down and put him right in. So I'll go and shuffle that up and then Let's see if Psyduck and his new friend can bring us some luck. Right, so I've mixed through everything pretty vigorously, so let's dip out three. Number one is... Black and white base set, which I put in last week. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Number two is... Breakpoint, which I put in the week before that. Huh, that's kind of interesting. And number three is... What is this? Flash fire! So, all very quite recent sets. I'm surprised we didn't get one of Guardians Rising. I was expecting to, but still. Really, really cool packs. I put those two in the very same week, so that's pretty cool. Let's put them right there. And what order am I even gonna go in? I think I'm gonna go, um, yeah, black and white base last. Why not? So, let's start off with Breakpoint and see if we can get something good. Come on, Psyduck, I believe in ya. And mm, I think what I might do is um, I just finished recording a top deck crate video and the lighting right now in this room is so bad, like it's just, it's blindingly bright. But if I put the box there, then it helps to focus in on the cards a little bit better. So I think I'll, I'll just do that because it like blocks out the window. But anyway, okay, so let's uh, get the code card off to the side and see what is inside this pack of Breakpoint. So Breakpoint is actually very very generous in terms of pull rates because there are just so many ultras in this set. But there's Electivire, Growlithe, Esper, Nummel, Honedge, Shelter, the reverse is an Electabuzz, and then the actual rare is Zeb Striker, which I guess is kind of fishing considering there's a Zeb Striker pack right there. But ooh, you're not feeling so good are you Psyduck? But I I'm willing to forgive, it's fine, but Ooh, Flashfire! Oh, it feels weird opening this because, like, Flashfire is actually quite the hard set to come by nowadays, especially on Wade, but I, I'm pretty sure these are on Wade. But, ooh, back when they had custom codes and everything, it's so good. But that card's, like, actually kind of creased. Thank goodness it's not the rare. <laughs> Alright, but inside this pack of Flashfire, there is Crocorock, Pokemon Center Lady, Dusclops, Caterpie, Bergmite, Feebas, Geodude, Flebebe, there's Magnetic Storm. Hmm, that's interesting. And then Floet Regular Rare. Ooh. Ooh, this really isn't looking good at all, is it? Oh. <laughs> okay, but Black and White Base is the final pack, which. I left the last because it has the uh, the worst pull rates of all of them, so this is not looking good at all. Ooh. Uh, for context, black and white base set only has uh, two, technically three ultras. There's a th there are two full arts, and then there's a secret rare. So we'd have to get insanely lucky, and I mean insanely lucky to get something good. But even a hollow. I would be really happy with because I don't even think I have any hollows from black and white base and I think they're pretty good, but there's Kragorok, old cards, so cool, Oshawott, Water Energy, Timber, P-Dove, Mancino, ooh, that's an, an interesting reverse. I thought that would be a wreck considering it's a semi-monkey, but it is just an uncommon of semi-sage, but um, the newer style reverses that have uh, patterns of the, the energy type. They only came into effect in Emerging Powers, I believe, so this is the only 5th gen set that just has straight up Mirror Hollow Foil. It's kind of cool. But Simi Sage is the reverse, and then the rare is... Oh, please don't let me down. Please be something good. Ah, oh, no, it's just a Sinchino regular rare. So, oh, I'm really sad. I don't know what's going on with Psyduck, you know? 
Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna give Psyduck an extra chance and just dip out one more booster. I know I know I don't normally do this, but I got it and it's Primal Clash. Oh I think I'm just in the mood for Pokemon cards really, but I must have put this one in a while ago because it doesn't even have a date on it, but there we go. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm gonna really embarrass myself if, like, this has nothing in it, but, you know, come on, Psyduck, we can do it, come on. Come on, Psyduck, I'm dipping out an extra booster for you here, buddy. Ooh, where's Cash Reverse Rare? That's nice. At least we've got a Reverse Rare. And then, Azumarill Regular Rare. Psyduck really is not feeling well, I guess. Leave a comment down below suggesting what I, could, what I should do, because, um, of course, I'm going to America, like, um, in a week or so, so I'm planning to take Psyduck with me, but Psyduck just really isn't feeling so well, so I'm not sure what I should do, but yeah. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!